You've been using pallet wood to make stuff and you've been left with pieces like this, offcuts that you don't know what to do with. I've got five projects for you that you can make for yourself, your family, or to sell in the marketplace that can make good use of those offcuts and avoid wasting any wood. One of the main ways I use pallet wood scraps is to make boxes like those. I can make them simple but jointed like this one or I can go a little bit more complicated put some miter edges, some nice nails, a handle when I sell them on the marketplace I make sure everything is nice and tight sanded, sometimes spaded, sometimes left rough because that's the look they're looking for like the silver wood another great way to use pout wood scraps and it's fitting for the current season with net birds nesting is to make bird houses. This uses the wider five and a quarter inch pl planks and it's pretty simple to make. It took me about 10 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna make a video on this very soon. Different types of bird houses you can make with different types of wood. Some more industrial type pallets have four by fours like this one. I always keep them to make legs for tables or benches or when I have low cuts that I don't know what to do with I can do slices like this put a finish on them tie a little rope around them this next way to use pallet wood scraps has been a great way for me to make some extra money on the marketplace I take a piece of five and a quarter inch pallet and simply use letters that I bought at the dollar store paint them the color that a client wants and make signs like this. Uh, I've got lots of requests on those, so that, that's a good way to pass pallet wood. You can make your own letters from a CNC machine or if you're crafty, but I, I buy them. It's pretty cheap. I get 52 letters for two dollars. My fifth trick to use pallet wood scraps is one of my main products on the marketplace that I sell is key holders. I make all sorts of them pretty much as I'm inspired without a plan with whatever scraps I got. And then they go for about $20 on the marketplace. I can make them pretty fast in 10-15 minutes maximum. I've got one of those. I make them with glue nails and some little hooks like this that I get from the dollar store. The same rope that I used on the name signs earlier. Same. It's a it's a good way to use your pallet wood scraps. I'm going to make a key holder with those offcuts from pallet planks. Set it up something like this. sides like this. I start by squaring off all three of those together on the miter saw. Start by adding some glue.
Next pieces are going to go here. I'm going to square them off before I measure. some glue on the outer edge here. I'm going to measure my holes for the key holders at three inches from the side and one and a half inches from the top. About an inch from the corner is perfect. Feed it out the other side. Make sure you have at least this long. We're gonna cut later. And we walk about this much to hang. I'll take the stapler like this.
I hope this video helped you know what to do with your remaining pallet wood once you're done with your main projects. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and like for more content like this and see you next time.